Hey, okay, so uh, uh, good morning. Here's the greenhouse, and uh, today is 10-4, so I decided to unseat the, the cellar and uh, gonna unplug all the TVs in the house and turn all the phones off and put them in the microwave cabinet. Faraday cage. It's a drill. It's all just a drill. But uh, better safe than sorry. It might be the zombie apocalypse. Anyway. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to show you. I'm so proud of... Uh, I uh, unseated it. And I did have... I, I still have some other things to do. I The water... There was a little bit of water down here. And I've realized that where that came from... As I, oh, I have a little bit of finish up work. I fit all the stuff, but I didn't glue it. And uh, so, anyway, um, this is my setup. I got a rack here that folds down. Uh, I'll have to make sure all the stuff down here, the screens, and I've got a, I've got some screens and stuff down here so I can watch over the cameras a little bit. And, and if the internet and the electricity is working, I can, you know, see what's going on. Um, plenty of food for long time. There's not a you know <laughs> not a lot of room in here. It's a, uh, what is it four by seven something like that four space. Anyway, and very small. It's a long story building this thing. Anyway, I'm real proud of it. The door here is uh, particular. It's uh. I think eight inches thick in the narrowest and 16 inches thick cement and uh, steel. It weighs uh, 3,000 pounds, the door. That's the scary part. That's what this jack's for is an emergency. If, uh, if the springs should fail or something, I can still get out of here. Or if uh, debris piles up, if it's a nuclear kind of a thing. And, I've just got to be able to push that door open. I have to be able to get out of here. It'll be my crypt. And, it, and I've already accepted it. You know, it is my crypt. That's This is my crypt here. This is, this is it, you know. Uh, the chances are I'm never going to get out of, you know, if there's a pole shift or if there's a nuclear whatever. Well, this will be where I'll be. We'll all be going the same place, I reckon. <laughs> Eventually. I might last a little longer down here though. Anyway, yeah, I got water. See, that's the secret most people don't think about. And God revealed to me was that uh, you can last a long time. Everybody wants to stock up on food, you know. And uh, yeah, water is the thing. You can go a long ways on if you've got a lot of water and a little bit of food. But if you've got a lot of food and a little bit of water, you're not going to make it very far at all. you got to have the water. Anyway, so I have, you know, water and I have uh, outside supplies from the roof and the rain system. If, uh, and everything. I've got them all set up. I can do, I have options. Um, not powerless down here. Anyway, it's not a bad place to be. Like a, like a jail cell, kind of. Got a toilet, and got a bed, got a little cook stove, coffee maker, and, uh, plenty of food. I got some movies down here too. I can watch movies. Got a little bit of cannabis, of course. <laughs> well, there we go. Oh. I'm so proud of my cellar. So there, there we are. <laughs> well, October 4th, 10-4. Get ready for the drill, sir. <laughs> Might be the apocalypse. The signal, the cell. Watch that show the cell. Okay.